I just want to touch a very li just very little about relationship and then I'll close. I'll touch very little. In the place of serving the Lord, in the place of serving the Lord, trust me, your husband can find you. Your dream man can find you. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22. He that findeth a wife, can I have it up? Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. Proverbs 18, verse 22. Let me tell you something. He that findeth, that's what the word of God says. Here. He that findeth a wife, findeth a good So the day you cross paths with the man that God has ordained for you. He said, he that find, you are a good thing. You are a good thing. He said, find it a good thing. Find it a good thing. Listen. Listen. I don't want you, some of us are already in relationship. Please, don't make it or make it appear like you are very, very desperate. Let that brother see himself as one that is favored to have you. There are a lot of things going on now. Because of desperation to get married. You're doing everything for the guy. You cannot be serving God and God fail you. Some sisters are so desperate. Now, I want you to know how I just decide to enter into this. I'm talking about serving the Lord. When you serve him, he will never put you to shame. He said, he that findeth a wife findeth a good thing. Then how can you be in a toxic relationship? If you, are, you are, if you are a good thing, you have that value for yourself. Why do you make it appear like you are so favored? Let the, the guy should see himself favored to have you. He should consider himself blessed. Apostle Joseph Suleiman considered himself blessed to have Lizzie Joseph Suleiman. now. Eh? Let him consider himself so lucky, so favored, so blessed to have you. Don't make it appear that you are throwing yourself on the man. Because you don't know your value. 
value. You don't know your what? If you know your value, you know your what, you won't do that. Because a man approached you for relationship, you are not flying like a lake, a lake. You perch on him. Every time you perch on him. Every time you perch on him. And do small shakara now. Give yourself small value. Eh? Give yourself small value. Don't make it appear like you are very, very desperate. Let the man be the one that should be desperate. Uh -uh. My husband is not here. I didn't know. I, I said, see, you thank God, though. Say, you don't miss me. Thank God. That's what I used to tell him. Consider yourself blessed. Are you listening to me? Let him see. Consider himself blessed. Even if you are in a relationship, please don't be so desperate. This is the reason when a man feels like this girl, she's killing herself. She wants to be married by fire, by force. It becomes a problem. You have everything. Maybe you are even a makeup artist. You have some skills. You have some things you do. You put a little money together. The one you have gathered, you carry it. You give to him. You carry your business money. Baga. You give to him. You carry your kini kini ikbaga. You give to him. Who do you resemble? Listen, 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 listen. Hey, it's getting more interesting, right? It's getting more interesting, right? Women are wired to play a supportive role. Now carry the load of that man put for your head. In the name of love. That is the reason. At the end of the day, some brothers, when they know you are so much desperate, they just dash your hope. They leave you. You begin to cry, break my heart. You go break the liver. I don't want to hear any of my daughter here as a man break my heart. Huh? When you know yourself. Break what? When you know yourself. If you step out of my life. In fact. You miss. Oh, you miss. You miss. You miss. You miss. You miss. Ha <laughs> yeah! ha. If you walk out of my life, who is? Who is? Ah, now you lose. Are you listening to me? That's why you must develop yourself as a young lady. Don't be a liability. So that when any brother approaches or come to ask your hand in marriage, let them know your what. They will have respect for you. When my husband came, me, I was, I was in fact, all weather, everywhere. I know they wait for man. I they find money. I they do business. Do business. Even tomorrow, till now, I'm still doing business. Conglomerate this one. Conglomerate that one. There, there are other business ideas coming, you know. Very soon, me, I'm taking over the whole of this out cheap. It's getting interesting, right? Papa said to me, he said, we'll give you Igbo name very soon. Because it's Igbo women that like business like this. It's Igbo women, Igbo women that like business. Whether I am around or not, I've put strategies in place. I love to do business, do something. If you have that value, when man, we, we, were, we were just, when Papa was returning from, from Zambia program, and I just flew in, Coming from Canada. We met in Lagos and we, we boarded together coming down. And then my husband was now telling me. He said that um, I think we were talking about we're talking about business. We're talking about business. And he saw my response. See, listen to me. I told my husband something. I said, Only, can you remember? Do you know that even in courtship, that's how I am.
because I want to do something for myself. I hardly ask man, ask you for something. Some of you, in courtship now, you are in a relationship. Everything, even up to the bra, you use up to the undies, up to, hey! Everything, you ask man. I told my husband inside the car, I said, can you still remember, even while in, while in courtship, and the, the thing is that now, now he don't come master me. My husband now will not be the one to be forcing himself to say, Oni, I think I need to dash you something. I don't ask. I don't ask. With the little you just empower me with, just leave me. Just leave me. Few years, come and check me out. Are you listening to me? Ideas. No get bangolo brain. Allah! Are you listening to me? Are you with me? Not empty bread. See, tap somebody, say, don't have empty bread. Tell the person, be creative, be creative. Be creative, be creative. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Touch your brain. Say, with this brain, I will be productive. You are not talking, no. Say, with this brain, I will be productive. I will be productive. I will use my brain. That's good. That's good. Are you listening to me now? So, make up your mind. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. Do something. It doesn't matter, no matter how little. And I'm so happy that this message, daddy talking to youth, mommy talking to single sisters, I'm so happy that many of you, you are already following the teachings. I'm so happy. When I hear that some of our girls, they, 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 they have learned some skills, and even some, even though they know how they are hairstylists, they still want to learn another thing. They want to, they want to know another. They, that's, that's, that's just it. That's just it. That's just it. When you pick up your phone, it's not for gossip. It's not to go on social media and looking for what is not looking for you. Think of something. Be very, be a resourceful person. Ideas should be coming. I can just sit down in my room. Excel will look at me and say, Mommy, you're not looking at me. <laughs> you know how that one? Ah, I'm already thinking. I'm already thinking. In the next two months, how do I take this business to this level? In the next three months, what do I do about this? What do I do about this? What do I do? Oh, God. If you are listening to me, all of you daughters of purpose, now my emphasis is this. As you are serving the Lord, don't be idle. Don't say you are going to sit down and money start coming from a man. You're depending on him. He will not have respect for you. Am I wasting your time? I've wasted so much time. Oh, God. You cannot serve God and you are in a toxic relationship. You are in a relationship and at the end of the day, they get married and they, 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 they start enduring marriage because they just they force themselves. They force themselves. That's what we see happen today. Some sisters are so desperate. They are so desperate. And then when you get into the marriage, you, are now, you now force yourself. You, the man will tell you, you know, I said something now. I said, don't make it, don't make the man appear like, oh, he's very, 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 very too much. How do I put I, Oh, you understand what I mean? Do you know, some marriages, even in some relationships, the, the guy will say, see, are you not even happy? Are you not happy that I'm in, in this relationship with you? A man will tell the wife, you know the happy son marry you? It's, it, 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 it's hap it used to happen. Before it will get to the point, the man will say, are you not happy that I got married to you. That's an insult. 
Are you not happy I'm getting married? To, I got married to you. Ah. Oh God. Listen, nobody here is useless. And you can never be useless. Don't make anybody make you feel inferior. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't let anybody make you feel inferior. Don't make anybody feel, make you feel very, you know, I don't know what else to say. I'm wasting too much time. How am I talking to somebody in this place? Is it that find it a good thing? If find it a wife, find it a good thing. I'm a good thing. I'm a good thing to you. I'm a good thing to you. The Bible talking about the Proverbs 31 woman. Proverbs 31 verse 10. Now a man should count himself. I said, lucky, blessed to have you. Favor to, by God. To have you as a wife. My husband every day is grateful to God to have me. And I'm grateful to God for giving me, giving a man like that to me. I'm grateful to God. I'm happy. I'm grateful to God. But let the man also show so much every day thanking God for you. Am I still speaking to anybody in this place? Turn to somebody say, are you ready to serve God? Talk to the other person, are you ready to serve God? Mm. Please, don't try to do everything because you want to win the heart of a man. Don't, don't try to do everything to, at all costs to please the man because you want the man to marry you at all costs by fire, by force. Don't do that. He will not have any respect for you. Don't do that. Keep your respect. Keep your value. When the right person comes, I'm saying this, listen, I have, I've counseled people. I've counseled people. Many people will come to me sometimes and say, Mama, my relationship is not working. Sometimes these are the mistakes we, these are the mistakes we make. These are the mistakes we make. Men, the way God has wired them to be the one to cater for the family. To take care of the wife. Women are to play a supportive role. But when you are so desperate, there will be a problem. There will be a problem. You are to play a supportive role. And I don't want the brother to feel that uh, I, am, I am a stingy person. I don't want the mother, my mother-in-law to be, to start seeing me as this or that. And I don't want my father-in-law and there was, it will be to start seeing me as this and, and you are killing yourself doing everything you want to please the man at all costs i'm not saying you should not help but we are saying play a supportive role are you listening to me now you will never fail in marriage i don't like that amen at all that amen can be bigger and better we see a lot of things happening today some men you can't regard them as men. They are hunchback. They are not men. They are men. Husband beaters. They will molest the woman. All kinds of abuse. Physical abuse. Mental abuse. Emotional abuse. Psychological abuse. And the lady say, no, I cannot take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. You want to run away. You want to run away from the marriage. Ah, if you are a daughter under this grace, you will not make mistake. I said you will never make any mistake. In the name of Jesus. You will not have a marriage that you begin to manage it. You will not have a marriage. Some people are saying, I'm just managing it. Let me, let me persevere. Let me, let me endure. Ah, yeah. For what? Marriage is to be enjoyed. It's not to be endured. You, you grow old before your time. You can die before your time. Are you listening to me? Kai, I'm, not, I'm, I'm saying this under heaven. God has blessed me. My husband is a wonderful husband. Papa is somebody who... Ah. Oh, God.
A man that is very, very understanding. A man who understands the feelings of the, the wife. You know, women, we are very emotional, you know? How can you marry a man? Even when he sees your tears, he just looks at you and he doesn't care. A devil. Women are very emotional. You are in pains. He, he, he doesn't know how to pamper. Kai. That will not be your portion. I said, that will not be your portion. I see God pushing you. Hey, hear this. The only God says I should say to somebody. If you are in a relationship, you just know that this thing is not going to work out because of the things you are seeing. God is going to deliver you. God will deliver you. Because if you make mistake in marriage, it's finished. It's finished. Many will go to hell because of their marriages. You don't know? Many will go to hell because of their marriages. I'm not enduring marriage. I'm enjoying marriage. And I prophesy to somebody right now. In the name that is above every other name. The man that God has destined for you shall cross your path. The man that God has prepared for you, the man that is your dream man, to help you fulfill destiny, God will bring him to you. If you believe that, shout the loudest, Amen. Shout the loudest, Amen. Now shout the biggest, Amen. Let the brother look at you in the eyes and say, you have added so much value to my life. My husband will look at me and say, honey, you have added so much value to my life. So much value. I'm not a liability. I'm not a liability. I am not. And I will never be. I never, will never be. By the grace of the God Almighty, I'm Apostle Johnson Suleiman's support system. Both physically, spiritually, and otherwise. I pray for him. I pray for him. I dedicate my time praying for him. I can't be on my knees praying for my husband. And you, you are somewhere. When the Bible says they shall gather together in verse, in verse 15, 17 of Isaiah chapter 59. He said, if the gathering is not of me, they shall scatter. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, they are condemned. I pray for my husband. I pray for my children. You know all the things I'm telling you now is to prepare your mind for the future. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Don't be a lazy woman. You must be strong. Listen, both physically and spiritually, you must be strong. Have you not heard testimonies of some people say they were putting on uh, Papa and Mama's uh, necklace and when they carried them, they kidnapped them. This and this and this and this. If it's a, a woman that... It's only the man that has that relationship with God. The woman does not have the relation. They will just kill the woman. Pastor's wife, they kill them like chicken. You think it's by being a pastor's wife. You don't have a personal relationship with Jesus. One small twinkly demon will just fire arrow. Bush. Ah! Am I talking to somebody here? You must be on fire for Jesus. You must be on fire. I've told you my relationship with God is it has nothing to do with a pastor's wife. Being a pastor's wife, that one is a different calling. It's a different thing. My relationship with God, knowing God for myself. Am I talking to somebody in this place? Many of you, you will still end up being a pastor's wife. You know, before they say, I learned to marry a pastor. Now these days, everybody, I <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Mrs. Hassan, before, when 
say you marry a pastor, then God forbid. God forbid. But I see many young ladies now. I'm saying this thing because some of us we end up being a pastor's wife. Prepare yourself. Tell somebody, say, prepare yourself. Say, prepare yourself. Even though you are not even a pastor's wife, you are married to a governor, a politician, captains of industries, uh, whatever. <laughs> you know, there are some. Is the one that is already made. In short, that one will be a topic for another day. Those of you that like already made, is already somebody else's husband. 